your shit show today to take you through the shit show. I'm sure it's gonna be a shit show. It's definitely going to be a shit show. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, if you've been following me for a little while now, you'll realize that there are four main things that I find wrong with family channels and influencers. Firstly, any influencer who exploits their own children for money, profit, clicks, etc. is just a bad person. Secondly, anybody who exploits their kids' disabilities is a bad person. Thirdly, anybody who is an adopted child who is exploited, that's also a no-go. And fourthly, if you are willing to exploit your child's, I don't know, their, their, like the gender identity or something like that. That would also make you in the category of a bad person. Now, I've come across what I feel is one of the worst that I've come across yet on YouTube. So, with that being said, let's get right into it. These are called the McLeod family. You may have heard of them. They have 500,000 subs and they have hit the nail on the head on this one. Let's find out why. Morning and welcome to the McLeod fam vlog. It is going to be a pure shit show today. This person is called Ika. I kid you not. Ika. E-E-K-A. Ika. E. -E and she loves to say the word shit show a lot regarding her own family, so I think... Your shit show today. To take you through the shit show. I'm sure it's going to be a shit show. It's definitely going to be a shit show. <laughs> that kind of... I, I don't really know what to say about that because I'm not sure if she knows that that kind of has bad connotations when you... you like, I call... The things I watch on YouTube shit shows like that. I would call their family a shit show or I would call the Inghams a shit show. But calling it your certain Anyway, I digress. Okay, we just arrived. This is so cool. I'm really excited. Evan is convinced that somehow I have some sort of connection to that kid, Ryan, from Ryan's World. And he's like, oh, Ryan's World. Ryan went to the Legoland. He went to the Legoland Hotel. And I'm like, how do you know all this? So um, I don't know. We're going to see if we can do. Oh my God, the dragon. Look at the dragon. I guess it's a smoking designated area. Anyways, um, we're gonna see if we can check in early. We don't know if we can. So yeah, as you may have guessed, she has some kids. That's why they've gone to Legoland. And she has three children. And she exploits them all for money. You know, with 500,000 subs, each video getting so many thousand views, it's bound to raise a few quid, right? So, Tick box number one, exploitation of children complete, right? Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> of course, my phlegm starts acting up right then. Um, I have the worst allergies in the world. I'm trying to kind of uh, organize the bed a little. It is Monday, and um, I am having to take Eli to a pretty urgent ortho appointment. Um, it's the orthopedist, I think that's what it's short for. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm doing too much at once. Um, in all likelihood, his hips are dislocated again. And that is pretty standard for a child with cerebral palsy, especially as severe as Eli has it. Yep. Her eldest has a severe disability, as you heard her mention. But that's not all, is it? Eka! Is it? Eka! It's not all, is it? Good morning and welcome to the McLeod Fam Vlog. Um, I thought it would be fun today to take you through the shit show that is our morning getting ready. Me as a single mom, basically um, prepping three disabled kiddos. To That's right, three disabled children. So apart from the one severely disabled that she mentioned earlier the other two also have disabilities i believe two of them 
have autism and the and one of them also has another disability on top of autism but anyway i digress move on please tell me more we get them all to three different schools it is wild and chaotic and exhausting and overwhelming and i'm going to take you along with me and hopefully give you a really good idea of what that looks like so because as a once famous personality once said if it weren't vlogged it didn't happen so you need to vlog it so that we all know that it actually did happen and you do have to get up every morning get three disabled children ready and go to school he's gonna get their teeth brushed brushing Eli's teeth is insanely hard it's actually easiest to do when he's laying down so that's what I've had to get good at, is brushing his teeth laying down. Ella, can you pick up that trash that's on the um, dresser, please? Yeah. Thank you. So there's absolutely nothing like stripping your child of their last remaining piece of dignity whilst you film them for YouTube. Do you know that this is like one of the worst forms of exploitation? Because not only are they a child, but they are a disabled child and i don't mean that in a derogatory in a derogatory way when you're a child you can't consent you can't give informed consent to be on youtube right when you're a disabled child you have basically no chance of giving informed consent do you see the seriousness of that at all so box number two ticked off that is exploitation of a disabled child catching if you follow us on instagram and you follow us on tiktok you are fully aware that evan came out as a girl evan has stated that she identifies as a girl would like to use she her pronouns be called sister and be called daughter it was just a natural progression it really started when i called her brother she was just like i'm sister and i mean so firm i was like okay okay sorry so um that's been new so this is her middle child she's talking about and this is another issue that i mentioned earlier that people who exploit their child's gender identity as they are trying to find themselves and they share it to the world because the world needs to know obviously you know it's not your journey to share and i've been through this many times with the Sokoni jolies who do the same thing but it is not your choice it's not your decision it's not your journey to share it is your child's and he she or they cannot consent to to doing this i just let everybody know that i i'm asexual so when you see the lgbtqia that is what that a stands for a lot of people mistakenly believe that the a actually stands for ally which it does not although you know i love a good ally so don't let that deter you the a actually stands for asexual so when i say to somebody that i'm ace or asexual they're like what what does that even mean <laughs> and i get it i realize it's a term that isn't used as often as gay or lesbian or bisexual or pansexual and these terms i think we're starting to um, use more in more mainstream media uh, you know you're seeing it on tv a lot more people are talking about it indeed so let's talk about it she happens to be asexual and um, why doesn't it surprise me we'll come back to a big problem that i have here shortly but it just kind of fits in a little bit the fact that they have a a non-binary child who is far far too young in my opinion i mean people can be who they want to be kids can be who they want to be but it's just don't put it on youtube for people to judge you know i mean it's not fair that i'm judging just don't do it so box number three perfectly ticked 
exploitation of gender identity. Catching. But I promised y'all I was going to talk about the kids' um, original names, the names that they were given when they were born. So I say we start with Eli. We'll go from oldest to youngest. So I've made the difficult decision to not reveal the kids' birth names for their own privacy. Although, you know, it's on their channel if you want to go and watch it. You know, I can't stop you. Anyway, the point is that all three, not one, not two, but three, all three of them are adopted children into the family adopted that's right and what should you not do with adopted children any guesses anybody anybody in the back want to take a guess comment down below before i tell you what should you not do with adopted children you should not plaster them all over youtube and you should definitely not be exploiting them for money why did you adopt these children in the first place was it to give them a loving home? Perhaps. Was it, in fact, to make money out of? I bloody hope not. But that's exactly what's happening right now. It's making money out of their adopted children. That is a definite no-no in the world of everybody. Seriously. Unbelievable. And it's the perfect way to end the whole box ticking exercise because box number four, exploitation of your adopted children. Catching, catching, catching. And it's not just that. It doesn't end there. That's the problem, right? Because not only are you exploiting your adopted children who weren't born to you, right? And that's not a slight against you. That's just the fact that they weren't born by you. You didn't bring them into the world. And yet you are taking them from somebody who's given you them in good faith and then putting them all over YouTube for profit. That's what you're doing. And it's not right. And I think most people can agree with me here. But it's not just that. It's the fact that they are all adopted. They are all disabled. They all have a disability of some description. One of them is not yours, but is now gender fluid. And that is after you are also that. And so basically every single box that you could possibly tick. First of all, you shouldn't put them on YouTube at all because they're kids. Secondly, you shouldn't put them on YouTube with disabilities when they're kids. And thirdly, you shouldn't put them on YouTube when they're adopted children. And fourthly... You shouldn't put them on YouTube when they are going through their gender identity journey as kids. All those things, put them all together and it basically paints a picture of you got these kids, right? You were given these children to give them a loving, safe, loving home, right? You then take the children who also have disabilities Therefore, you need to give them a lot more care and attention than the the standard child. You then take those children and you plaster them all over YouTube. When, in fact, they weren't yours to do that with in the first place. Now, for those of you who are undoubtedly going to say, look, but Dougal, you, you, you know, you've got it all wrong. You've got it all mixed up. You need to know the full story. You need to know the full facts. They don't exploit their kids for money. They do it for awareness. Well, just how do you explain this then? All right, we got event check in heading over there now. Going to see what we Hi, do. Hi, good. Thank you. All right. Reagan and her mom. Look at that. They met the, they met the, the girl who played the voice of the doll in Squid Games. Squid Game. Unbelievable. Legend. Legendary. I seriously hope your kids haven't watched Squid Game, though. So, do they even know who that is? 
Please say no. Leanna here again, and we are headed in. We are so excited. So this is an exclusive event at Legoland. They were invited there because of why. Why do you think that was? Why do you think they managed to get an exclusive invitation to Legoland to hang out with all the rest of the influencer kids? It's because they have kids who are on YouTube, possibly disabled kids who are on YouTube, and possibly disabled kids who are adopted on YouTube, who are gender fluid on YouTube, adopted kids on YouTube, etc. You get the picture, okay? If none of that happened and you didn't plaster them all over YouTube, you wouldn't get special event invitations, would you? That's the perks of being exploitative, I guess. So, that being said... What's the other thing that I wanted to mention here? And I know this is going to come across wrong, but I need to say it because it's on my mind and I feel like you have been given an extra special privilege, right? Now, I don't know what it's like in the US for adoption, okay? It seems to be fairly easy to get a hold of a child and um, put them on YouTube, doesn't matter to the authorities at all. There's quite a few people on YouTube that do that. Seems weird to me. But worse still in this case is you're a single mother. Single mothers aren't necessarily a bad thing. I'm not saying that. But you're given the privilege of adopting three lovely children. Something that a lot of people would dream of. But... I'm not quite sure how you managed to pass all the, like, the safeguarding che checks. I'm sorry. But, because surely you need to have some sort of, like, income, some monetary situation going on. Unless she's rich behind the scenes, I don't know. Does anybody know how it works in the US? Because from what I'm seeing is, she's a single mother. She has no job. Because her job is to look after three disabled children. And she's putting them on YouTube to earn the money in order to pay for these kids which she was given. I'm not saying that single mothers are a bad thing. I'm saying that I'm not too sure, especially in this country, if you were a single parent who had no means of financial support and you had only intended to say support those children via YouTube I'm not entirely convinced the authorities would be overly keen to allow you to adopt so please let me know if you do know the the situation a little bit better than me let me know thank you all so much I hope we've all learned something here and that is that you shouldn't exploit your children, you shouldn't exploit your disabled children and you shouldn't exploit your adopted uh, disabled children. Until next time, please give this video a massive thumbs up if you'd like me to do more. Comment everything you want to comment down below. Have you heard of this family before? Do you want to see more of this type of content? And subscribe if you're new because I can do as many of these as you want and as often as you want. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Have a lovely day. It's a beautiful day outside. Get yourself outside. And bye-bye.